from CBC News. It's the world this hour. I'm Joe Cummings. It turns out a major telemarketing scam that's been targeting Canadians for years is based in India. And CBC has discovered that while the RCMP is aware of it, it isn't doing anything to stop it. Here's David Common. And Canada Revenue Agency filed a lawsuit against your name. Our investigation began with one of those pre-recorded calls, and we called back. This is not honest. No, 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 no. That narrowed down where the calls were coming from. One of the slums in India's biggest city, Mumbai. India's police service knows about the CRA scam targeting Canadians. It's made arrests in the past. But to take action now, they say they need to hear victim stories. And while thousands have made such reports to Canadian police, Indian Police Commissioner Parambir Singh says the Mounties have never reached no out. Nobody contacted us. CBC contacted the RCMP. They did not respond to the Indian assertion, instead sending a statement that they are committed to preventing, detecting and deterring crimes. David Common, CBC News, Mumbai, India. In one of the sketchiest slums in India's largest city, a faded mid-level apartment building is home to a massively successful tax scam. All right, they're going in. Inside the apartment, a dozen or so callers in fluent English posing as Canada Revenue Agency staff. When our helpers are seen, they were immediately chased from the building. They followed us like for one and a half kilometer. When American authorities realized similar scammers were posing as IRS agents, they had Indian police launch a massive raid, yielding more than a hundred arrests. So we asked the local Indian police commissioner, Parambir Singh, about what Canadian authorities have told him. Nobody contacted us from Canada. When asked why, the RCMP did not address that assertion, only saying the best way to combat phone scams is through public awareness. David Common, CBC News, Mumbai.